We got once we read our fucking man lost off stream. Next week. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm ready to do it. No, next week. In a tournament setting. We have to wait for when they ride our team. Oh, yeah. Is that at the UAT tournament? I'll be there. Will you do a live reading? I can do a live reading of it. Alright guys, if you want a live read of Project Man Lust, But I, I do want um, Ryan and Nate to read their own lines, because I believe that will add to the experience. I am down to do that. That sounds fun. Yes. And like, incredibly awkward in the best way. And yeah, we'll get that from every single <laughs> streaming no, network, but you know, it's I think it's worth it. It was a good story. It's a good story. So, okay, I... Usual, like we've seen in the past few games, Neon is the first off that's expected, especially now that he's the only space he on street. Yeah. So before it was like, okay, you have Wolf who can lose a lot of stocks, you have Fives who can lose a lot of stocks. And then you have Link who's probably not going to lose the first stock, and Squirtle's pretty really slippery, so he Squirtle. could do it, but. But now you have Luigi and Didi. Both of whom, if I were a betting man. Jordan's down to two, but that young Squirtle is holding out with four whole sides. But Squirtle is not a particularly great paint. He doesn't do a whole lot by being there. He needs to actually go in and create that space himself. So, this is one of those situations where having a Squirtle at high percent is not exactly what you want. Because that means that he's playing scared. He's limited in what he can do. While Neon could be getting kind of body. Right. So, it could be that they're more focused on just killing Neon, who dies once again. And there you go, that was a really good, really good upbeat. Really good awareness on that. It's a really bad upbeat by Bagels, but he should be alive still. And gets the game. That's it, it's more than all of a sudden, Neon doesn't have a safety net anymore, and they're pulled down to one stock. Really unfortunate timing as we just get right back on the spot the platform and finishes off the gun. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now that's a blunder. Put that on the... On the blooper reel. Oh, so this is a lot scarier than it should have been. Yeah, we didn't have this game. Yeah. Do you like that nair okay. shot? Oh, there. there we go. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. Press up. I'm scared. Both of these players are actually pretty good under pressure. None yeah. of them. Traditional Zeus doesn't know what pressure is. He makes pressure. Okay, fourth throw to reverse hydro plate. I'm smashing. Might kill him the next one. I don't think he had the frames to go for Aqua Jet there. He's a little bit too floaty for that follow up. They're both really just trying to space the other one out. Oh, kid. There he goes. Grab just the toes. Good stuff. Go. Oh, good stuff for the red team, but Ooh. really big mistakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should have never been in that situation. Play the game. To be fair, though, we did have a few neon as well. Did they? Clint neon got the game. I think there was one as. You can argue Gimps are just assistant suicide. But you know, I don't know if you said this yet, Congress and Neon are coming in. Yes. They are gonna have to take six games. I had that, that's gonna be hard. I think when these two played in winners, it went to game five. Game five. So. And look at that, Neon is the last one to lose the first stock. But, you know, one minute in, three stocks even. This is close. Yeah. If anything, I'm more surprised that both Luigi and Divinity lost. 
Yeah. And then it went by. It's absurd. And Bagels is going for a few nares that have been slightly out of place. I feel like he's on the ledge like that. I feel like a, a, a back there would just give him more space. You now he's been hitting most of those. And the difference between the one or two frames of back there is slower than there is not going to be the difference between hit and or not in these situations. Mostly because there are scuffles while well, they're trying to hit DDD and he just capitalizes on it. Just get the other person off stage and just pop them up. Let's see if they can finish that off. Too low. Okay, but this should be it. Good awareness. Yeah. Alright, this is how leads start. Even though they're 140 and 160, that doesn't mean anything because they're yeah. solid. Especially considering you need to do that. As long as I take the lead. Oh, should be a good opportunity. Doesn't have a jump yet. He's dead. So he did the smaller side. Oh, and he gets oh. it. That was a fantastic that trade. Was really <laughs> that was really great. And he gets another one of Fowler's stops just like that. That was two dust below 30% total, I think. Exactly what he's looking for. Man, he did do a movie seems obnoxious, but they were Oh, yeah. It seems like a struggle for moving to get behind. And, you know, this is one key that just by the nature of the playstyle and the characters, you're gonna spend most of the game with time. Yeah. It's not a key that you're just going to keep throughout the game. You always have that explosive factor, especially against the game. Because, you know, if you get him on a good 2v1, get like 90% off him really quick because he's just a humongous. Yeah. But he's going to outlive you, so you're probably going to be at a percent deficit where they, they have a stock and DDD just has like 50% more than you do. Um, that was almost a really good opportunity, really good at um, air dodge to you know, get back on the stage. If he had tried to go for anything else, he would have gotten the game. I'm not sure how I feel about this counter pick because I feel like Luigi and Luigi are going to control so much space for those platforms. They want to move. They want to move. Yeah, but what are you doing? I'm Luigi's saying on what the bottom want. and Luigi's on the bottom. I'm saying what they want. I'm not saying how optimal they're going to charge it. I don't know what they want. Because that scares me. Because I don't know what I would do. I'm not gonna run up to DDD and just be like, okay, yeah, whatever, this is gonna work. And whenever you jump, Luigi's gonna be there with his really quick aerial, so just put you back in your place. Yeah. Oh, that's a flood right there. Okay, good recovery. Team Ledge. Now, a lot of people are really scared to just go off stage, yeah. they'll play it too safe, or they'll go off stage and they'll pick a safe option. Sometimes you just gotta take a risk. Even if you take like 30% like Bowser's did, at least he made it back to stop trying to be too conservative in his decision making. Yeah, and we're approaching two minutes, and he's still sitting quite at the ledge, at trying. 65 with two stops. Gonna survive that. Probably survive the next one too. Notice how Neon does not approach him with an air and aerial. He shoots the gun. Yeah. He's not trying to get near that big half of it. No. Because that's the trade he's looking for. That would be a 9% stop for a 182. Okay. He gets it. He went up for it. I think he went out and he wanted to press B right as he left stage. Not enough frame to swallow his way to the And Neon calls out the but uh, Big is gonna push a button. And he goes right quick for the lunge as Bagel throws it there. And he manages to survive smart recovery on this card, calling that out. Bagel is really trigger happy with just dropping down and doing an aerial. So, decided it was worth the risk. Oh, 
that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Wow. Catches the fireball. Bruce went to sit there. That was a silver. Yeah. Oh, he dies for it. Oh, he's a mistake. Man. This is a good opportunity. Yeah, he manages to make it fast. This is really hard, given how the conditions right now. And Bagels finally loses that stock after being sitting pretty at 200%. Knowing how Bagels is, he's probably going to be playing a little more relaxed right now. Okay. This might be a neon. Amazing tech. Amazing wall tech. I thought he was dead there. I went. I'm a little too close to the He did have a lot of time to react to the plan, but a lot of people just freeze up in that kind of situation. There's a giant penguin coming on top of him. Yeah. Okay. This should be it.
The issue is, with the deficit they're at right now, it might not be worth the risk. But if you get to the as far as like 60, that could send him just far enough that he's just going to try it on the other side. There it is, it looks like they're going to close it out here. Um, this would be a miraculous run. Well, that's early. Um, unless you guys want to take a quick break, uh, Gio and Jordan stay for singles. Yeah, right, 789, right? 789, yes. I'm gonna take this chair. Take both of those chairs. Best out of three. Yep. I lost the call. And as doubles ends, the commentators the chairs. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yep. So you got second. We're gonna have singles, less chaos. Easier time to commentate. It'll be fun. Are you guys going right into it? Yeah. What? What the heck? And we get no time to set up. No time. <laughs> 